With this episode being called The Victors, I'm excited to see how this whole tournament ends. I want to see Julius talk, like give everyone some advice like Zora has been doing. And I also want to see who is actually officially going to make the squad because these Royal Magic Knights are going to be insane. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover episode 84. This one's called The Victors. Last episode, we had Yuno absolutely demolish the team he was going against. We had Rill absolutely demolish uh, Luck. And so with that being said, Rill and Yuno are about to go against each other, which is kind of the last match of the tournament because Langris and Asta got a tie because they're both their crystals were destroyed at the same time. So I wonder what criteria is going to go into choosing these Royal Knights. You know, is it going to be pure strength? Is it going to be, you have to have a balance of strength and being able to work together? I'm just, I'm curious about that. And I want to hear them talk afterwards. King Augustus Clover has been roasting, you know, and Asta since the beginning because of their peasants. So I just cannot wait for them to be chosen because obviously there's some top tier candidates so i just i'm excited i'm excited so i say we just hop right on into this don't forget if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are in the description down below for you guys don't forget if you guys want to support me patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe click that bell down below so you guys always know exactly when i post over here on the dapper channel follow me on all the social medias instagram twitch twitter and tiktok at dapper darius Let's hop right on into this. Black Clover, episode 84, The Victors. Let's do this. The finals for the selection. Rill, Nils, and Ruben. I can't lie. Rill has definitely garnered my respect for him, his strength at least. And I love his backstory. That's actually huge for Yuno to say. He's always the guy who never goes full strength. Yeah. He likes to keep it in reserve. <laughs> I like how he calls himself the protagonist. Okay. This man Yuno is dashing. This animation looks actually great. Ooh. Game of the Gods as well. Is this Zeus? He can redirect it. That is so dope. We got, what's his name? Something Anubin? Ruben? Nils and Ruben, right? Versus Ed and Noel. Why is the animation snapping in this episode? It looks so good. Sea Dragon's Roar is the perfect defensive spell against this. I like how they're in different teams. You have Rill on defense solo with his crystal versus you know who's on offense. And they have the other two who are on attack versus Noel and N who are on defense. Oh my lord, bro. They are snapping this episode. Fucking playing Connect 4 out here. Bro, that looks so sick. Swift White Bow with Bell's assistance. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so sick. Fucking any anime fight on water makes it 10 times better. We can all confirm that. And he turns it straight into ice for a pillar. Oh my god, this is so sick. I'm gonna have to rewatch this fight at least three times. Little mix of fire and water. Bro, Rill's versatility is out of this world. Oh, if you think that's enough to stop, you know, you are crazy, Rill. <laughs>
I know, bro. You know's offensive strength is insane. I think Rill's one of the only people who could counter him. Because he's so versatile. Beautifully. That's a way to put it, Kirsch, right there. <laughs> What's the thing? What thing are they going to do? Even he has a reserve spell just like oh, everyone else? Super Saiyan Yuno? And then he refined that. So he can take all of Bell- I don't know if all of Bell's magic, but he can- Fusion! Ha! Bro. <laughs> I'm just like Austin in this situation. Oh my god, he's able to control Bell's magic as well. He has such spirit assimilation, spirit dive. He has such refined control over magic. He, oh my god, this man is a menace. This is the form I've seen so many times. I did not think we'd be seeing it here at all. It is gorgeous. What the fuck is this? Like demon magic? Scream of the mystical dragon we oh, Vivre? I love when they play this song during the fights. Oh my god. Yeah. You feel like he caught ahead of you again. Ugh. I would love to see you out there fighting, you know, I really would. Bro, what the hell is going on? This is so dope. They snapped this episode. Rill's a thing a little too focused on offense and not worried about his crystal. I completely forgot Rill's crystals right there. Bro, you know, not only defeated one of the squad captains, but one of, in my opinion, the strongest ones. <laughs> I gotta give a round of applause for that fight. That blew my expectations way out of the water. Ah, uh, it was more real than you know, okay. Real was his own downfall. Let's go, let's go. I gotta go back and write down. He said spirit assimilation, spirit dive. Yes. I. <laughs> I think Rill's magic was incredible that fight. Make sure I'm still recording for the ninth time this episode. That's what I was thinking. And it's 20. Okay, at a later date, he has to go over everything in his head, think about the best candidates and shit. He's not really looking for you to get a dub, he's looking for how you work, what you do, the strategies, the power, all that, you know? Yeah, let's hear about that. Yeah, we got huge Langris vibes. So, what are we gonna do about that? Okay. Okay. I like how shows the picture of the Golden Dawn. William Vengeance. Mm. Oh. Mosa is so amazing. Yeah, my man Oss is a little down in the dumps, I feel for him. Every rival has to go through this phase where you realize how much further your, your rival's gotten and you need to use that as motivation. Every rival's been through this. <laughs> Ooh, 
Zora. I really like Zora so far. Oh. Yes. I'm glad someone else admires that as well. <laughs> no, I love his tough love approach. Yeah, of course he knew that. It's my man Julius. Oh man. I remember Zara talking about that. Oh, shit's bringing me teary eyed right now, man. Shouts out, Zara. He's such a real one. That's how the star system came to be? Yes. Oh, come on. Quit playing around. Oh. Oh. Super Magic Knight Zora on the way. I can't wait. That was a fantastic ending to a fantastic episode. Oh my lord. That might have been one of my favorite episodes yet. I don't even know what to say, man. That easily was one of my favorite episodes of Black Clover to this day. Oh, oh my, especially with this arc with another one being just a few episodes ago. Oh, that ending made it just the cherry on top. But that fight between Yuno and Rill was at least 15 times better than what I was expecting. Like, I'm not saying I was expecting anything bad. That's just how amazing that fight was. Like, the animation, absolutely incredible. The fucking use of Rill's picture painting magic, incredible. I love his versatility. You know is he was constantly changing his offensive wind spells and they each of them were amazing but still couldn't get through Rill's defenses and so he did what he was going to save against Asta. I love how Asta and you know both had spells or uh, forms we call it that they were saving against each other you know and it's just spirit assimilation spirit dive he said bell we're doing it and i love how it called back to when the eye of the midnight sun attacked and i believe it was it wasn't sally was it, it was catherine or sally well i have all the eye of the midnight sun gals written down um there the, it was like the the dark magic that was able to get rid of your senses and he had he oh, i remember that and it, the fact that he was able to gain that experience keep that in the back of his mind also him working on his mana skin to just all around control his mana he already has an excessive amount of mana and he, that he's able to control flawlessly but the fact that he's able to add on a spirits magic as well who they have like god tier level of magic it's just like he's he to be able to have that much refinement in him is just insane and i love how julius gave him some props too he was like your hard work and your your, you know, your, your knowledge of magic was able to give you this. And it's just like, whoo, that was incredible how strong that man was. And for real to even be a contestant against that with his picture magic, Vivri fucking drag. Oh my, that shit was so dope. And then it ended off with Julius talking to Zora. Zora reflecting on Pops and how Julius remembered his dad and how dope his dad was. Not only was he the first peasant to become a magic knight, but he, they, they got, they thought up the star system so that efforts of people, no matter how small or big you are, would be acknowledged and brought forward. It's just incredible. And I love how it's still to this day being used and God, it's working on people like Asta, you know? So it's like, shouts out Zara. Wouldn't be where we are without you today. Oh, shouts out Julia, shouts out Zora. Oh, I gotta watch this next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, check out that Patreon where you can watch the full length or the early access. We are four episodes ahead. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post. Tell someone you love them. Drink some water. Be safe. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.